Perhaps you were on a camping trip that, uh, went awry. You're lost, not sure where you are, but you kind of remember there was a town to the south. Perhaps, after a day on the water, you got turned around, but you did remember you'd parked on the North Shore. Or perhaps you're traveling abroad, and you need to get to a metro rail station about two blocks east. In short, you know which direction you need to go, you're just not sure which direction that is. And whether it's due to technological malfunction, or absolutely no cell signal, or just a plain dead battery, your phone is of no help. But don't worry, the solution is at hand. Or your wrist. In this video, I'm gonna go over two techniques on how to use a watch as a compass. The first is the old Boy Scout trick, which uses a 12 hour hand and dial. The second is a lesser known but easier technique using a 24 hour hand. Your level of accuracy all depends on what time of year and where you are, and that's all due to how the Earth rotates around the Sun. So these techniques are best used when you just need an approximate idea of where to go, or in a situation where you really have no choice. So first, let's go over the method that most people know. And while a compass bezel will help, it's not really needed. And depending if you're in the northern or southern hemisphere, there are slight differences in how to do this. Also, ideally you want to know if your watch is set for daylight savings time. If you don't know, it's still okay. You can still use this and get a general idea, but you'll be off by a little bit. So if you are in daylight savings time, adjust your watch back an hour, or just do it mentally. Now keeping the watch parallel to the ground, you rotate it such that the hour hand is pointing directly at the sun. You then need to determine the halfway point between your hour hand and the 12 on the dial. If you're in the northern hemisphere, that point is south. But there are two halfway points between your hour hand and the 12. One if you go clockwise and one if you go counterclockwise. What you need to remember is that if you're in the morning, you go clockwise. And if it's the afternoon, you go counter or anti-clockwise. And remember at noon, the sun is due south for northern hemisphere. Now if you have a hard time remembering which direction to go, Think of it this way. The sun rises around 6 a.m. and sets around 6 p.m. It rises in the east and sets in the west. So if you imagine your watch at those extreme points, you can remember which direction you should go. Now after you've determined which direction is south, if you have a bezel, you can then set it at that point to help you figure out what the other directions are. For the Southern Hemisphere, it's a little different. You still want to find the halfway point between the hour hand and the 12, but instead of pointing the hour hand at the sun, you instead point the 12 at the sun. But the direction you're finding is north, not south. Now if you ever wonder why this works, just remember that the earliest devices to measure time were sundials where people watch the sun's shadow travel a half circle every day from east to west. In fact, just remember that our entire concept of time evolved from our ancestors watching the sun and stars. Now if you're wondering why you have to find the halfway point between the 12 hour hand and the 12 on the dial, as well as why you have to switch directions throughout the day, just remember that it takes the Earth 24 hours to complete a rotation and come back to its starting point whereas a 12-hour hand completes two rotations in that same time period, which is where having a 24-hour hand comes in handy, as it completes a rotation on the same time frame as the Earth. So if you have a 24-hour hand, first make sure it's set to your current time and not some other time zone. And this can work with a 24-hour subdial, but it's much easier if it's on your main dial. Just as before, there are differences between Northern and Southern Hemisphere. So the following is for Northern Hemisphere. Again, keep the watch horizontal and parallel to the ground. Then rotate it such that the 24 hour hand is now pointing towards the sun. After that, whatever direction the 24 hour marker is pointing towards is North. And that's pretty much it. 
it's very simple and very easy to do. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's a little more complicated, but not by a lot. Basically, you need to compensate for the fact that the Sun is rotating anti-clockwise in the Southern Hemisphere. So instead of rotating the watch where the 24-hour hand is pointing towards the Sun, instead rotate it so that the 12-hour marker is now pointing at the Sun, and that's the 12-hour marker on a 24-hour scale. At that point, the 24-hour hand is now pointing north. Again, it's a little more complicated, but not a lot. Well, that's how you use a watch as a pseudo-compass to help find your way. It's a good skill to have, even if you don't venture too far from civilization. Now, any comments, questions, or suggestions, make sure you leave them below. It's just past that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.